Earlier on today, the news broke out that um, a flag was spotted in Lagos State, and that flag was a representation of Odudua Nation, Odudua Republic. We know for some time now there's been different agitation in the country, Biafra, and the Odudua uh, um, Nation as well. This flag was spotted. Right now, after the flag was spotted, reactions have been coming in and out. What that represents is it that um, Odudua, are they ready now? Are they ready to make the move now? Are they ready to go their way? What is going on? Uh, but uh, uh, in the in the midst of all of these reactions coming, um, Olowu of Iwo has actually um, made a statement, and that has cost um, even it has even cost more reactions. We'll bring you all of the details shortly. What's going on now? But before we do, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, click on that notification bell. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. A while ago, the Odudua flag was spotted in an area in Lagos. Since then, some Nigerians, especially those in the Southwest, have been talking about it. Many see it as a sign that actualization of the Odudua nation is at hand. However, a popular traditional ruler in Oshun State, Yolo of Iwo, Oba Abdul Rashid Akambi, has reacted to it and the call for the Odudua nation. According to the statement he made, as reported by Sahara reporters, it is only the Council of Traditional Rulers in Yoruba land that will decide if there will be Odudua nation or not. The traditional ruler went ahead to state that there are factors to consider before the agitation for self-determination will be pursued in Yoruba land. On the purported 2023 presidential ambition of the former Lagos State Governor, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the Olowu said that he isn't a politician, therefore he cannot endorse anyone for any political office. He asked the Yoruba people to unite and vote for their own if such opportunity presents itself. On Afeni Fere, a Yoruba social cultural organization, the traditional ruler accused some of its members of pursuing their own personal interests. In recent times, there have been actions taken by some Yoruba people to show that they want Odudua nation. Some Nigerians have reacted to the statement of Olowu on Twitter and they said so many things. So um, the, this Oba, he, sta he stated the right thing actually because we know it's not just for one person. So one person cannot just come out and just put up a flag and we start following that. Yes, um, Odudua nation is here. That um, it takes a lot. It's not just one person. Uh, you know, he stated that it's only the Council of Traditional Rulers in the Yoruba land. They are the ones that can actually decide when that will happen. If it will happen or if it will not happen. And I think that is what it is. It will not be uh, away from that. You know, even um, regarding the crisis um, being experienced in the Southwest. You know, recently, um, the governors were criticized that they are not speaking up and they are not speaking up. But um, just today, the governor of Ekiti State, Kyle Defy and me, he stated something that uh, the reason you are not hearing uh, governors coming up to say one thing or the other here and there is because they, they've chosen one person to, to be their spokesman, the leader of um, the, the governor's forum in the southwest. Their chairman is the Ondo State Governor, Rotimi Akiridolo. So he's the person that speaks for them. So why am I bringing that um, here is uh, what um, this Oba has just stated is that they are leaders, they are, they are traditional rulers. And um, I think they would have a forum as well. Who speaks, who gives the final say, or if it's something that all of them have to contribute to. Or so it's not like a one person would just come and put a flag because when that flag was spotted in Lagos today, it drew a lot of reactions that what is going on, what is going on right now. You know, there's been lots of agitation and even right now it's become, it has become more clear with the current insecurity in the country. Um, Nigerians, they don't even believe in Nigeria anymore. When you speak about um, APC, PDP, it feels like those parties, they, they don't exist. Let us separate, let us go our own way. I know the only reason people will be calling for separation is when things are not working properly. When things are not working properly, that is the truth. You will not see anything working properly and you'll be hoping to want to jump away. Just imagine like a husband and a wife that are married. If they are living happy, everything is going well. There is enough money that they are spending in the house. The wife has enough, uh, uh, everything she needs. 
she won't wake up one morning and state that um, I want to go my own way. So that, that, that what we should be addressing right now is that what is the reason behind all of this agitation is because things are not working. We know things are not working. The, the youth last year, we all came out and um, what, what we were saying with one voice, and that is the first time in a long while that um, we've seen that the whole country united to demand to support this move, which was hashtag answers, hashtag end to bad governance. What are we demanding? An end to bad governance. So we know that um, the things are not functioning properly. The kind of uh, um, leadership we have the, is like it's for their personal interests, for their family members. You know, anytime uh, Adeshina, all of this uh, President Mohamed Buhari's media aid, when they speak, they keep saying this annoying thing that... Um, Buhari is the best thing that has happened to the country. Whenever I hear that, I say, I say that um, they should just rephrase that statement and state that Buhari is the best thing that has happened to their family, their friends, their loved ones, not the country, not the whole of Nigeria. It's only to a selected few. It's so painful. But anyway, um, this uh, Olo, he was uh, criticized anyway. <laughs> I, I don't know why he was criticized. He was criticized that... Um, um, these traditional rulers that we're talking about that we are waiting for to take the call or make the call. That why have they not spoken that they are the ones that put us in this situation where we are? Some persons don't even believe um, this Oba. Um, they feel that um, he's working with the Fulanis. He's supporting them. and um, So different reactions here and there. And uh, I, know, I know very well that um, because of this crisis, this uh, headsman crisis, they, to them they believe that if these traditional rulers are really doing what they need to do, that how come we are in, we find ourselves in such a situation that it shouldn't happen? We shouldn't find ourselves in such a um, situation. A lot of persons are playing politics with this. Someone stated that only Yoruba Oba can decide. Then it's not going to be a nation; it's going to be a company. This person feels that um, if it's not the whole, if it's not the whole impute of everyone, if it's just one person then it's not a nation, it is a company. Another person here is stating that um, if it's not culture, I believe this person is just um, giving the Oba respect. That is what it means. If it is not culture, I would want to say to Abdul Rashid Adewale Akambi, but he should be ignored. He should soon go down the history of what he represents. So they don't really, uh, this uh, Oba, people don't really respect him that much. I don't know why. But guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Let's hear what you think um, about um, this flag and um, what the Oba um, stated. Drop us your take. We'd really love to hear from you. Thank you and God bless you. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Also click on that notification bell. It really does mean a lot to us. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.